Hello and welcome to a video showing you how to farm the loot crates in Space Engineers. Now if you don't know what the loot crates are, they are little crates that can randomly spawn in your game that have a chance to give you some cosmetic items. As you can see I've got a metallic suit which makes me all shiny and I also got a wooden helmet which is camouflage, apparently you need camouflage in space. And I got a cow welder which is just a black and white welder compared to the old vanilla one. Although that's a veteran one, so don't worry about that. So to actually farm them, we're going to start a new game, go to custom, and we want to go to the platforms. There it is. Now when you start it, you want to be on survival. The crates do not spawn in creative mode, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to switch that over because I want to. Now in the advanced section, make sure you're still on survival, and we're going to turn off all the enemies. Uh, I think I've got them all. Yeah, so I've turned off all the enemies, so it's not going to be any problems whatsoever. If you want to use mods, I strongly suggest using anything that improves the speed of your ship. Whatever, I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, I'm going to load this up and show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are in the lovely space station in Space Engineers. And now all we got to do, while well, it's still loading, so there might be a bit of lag here and there is wait. So these loot crates, they spawn every 5 minutes or so, and they will always be around about 5 kilometers away from you. There are larger loot crates which have a much longer respawn time, which will always spawn about 50 kilometers away. Anyway, this is all about waiting. So I'm going to hop into this fighter because it's nice and agile, and I'm going to sit there and wait for a crate to spawn. About two minutes went past and an unknown signal has appeared and that unknown signal will be your lovely loot crate. So I'm going to head over there and we're going to open it up. Now they have a really low chance of dropping anything and if you do get something it is persistent across all your games. In fact the actual items you get are tied to your Steam account so you can sell them on the marketplace and trade them to other people if you wanted to. We're at the lovely drop pod over here and you'll find this little button. If you click on it, it'll say try your luck, you press OK, and I didn't get anything, about usual. You can usually tell if you're going to get an item, because after you click OK for the first time, there'll be a rather long delay, and then you usually get an item, but if it's instant, you don't get anything. Another thing with these drop pops is, if you actually open them up, you do get a fair amount of materials out of them. I mean, canvas there if you want a parachute, there's some materials there. But anyway, if you want to then just sit around here, you can go back to the station if you want, or you can sit here, and in about 5 minutes or so another drop pod will spawn, then you just go over and repeat the process again. So that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in another video soon, bye bye.